Security, the official recap podcast for Insecure on HBO. I'm Crystal. And I'm Hey Friend. Hey. And we're at episode five already. I sent. can't believe it. Like the season is going to be starting to wind down here in a little bit. I'm not ready. <sighs> that means the finale is going to be good. Oh, yes. Because listen here, okay? <laughs> the ghost of Dick's past popped up in this episode. <laughs> this one, mm, Let mm, me just mm. say for the record before we start, okay. I called it. I- Okay. I called it. All right. I facts, knew who facts, was facts. coming back. Uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> of course, we're going to get to the ending. But when I tell you, I screamed because I thought about how ridiculous you niggas sounded I signing a petition up. behind this fool. <laughs> I thought... All that energy that y'all sent. They played it so well. Shout out to Jay yes. Ellis for the tweet talking about congratulations <laughs> to the cast for season three. <laughs> Knowing damn well. Adding to the fuel. Brilliant. Like, shout out to everybody for keeping that a secret. But anyway, but since it. she decided to just walk out of We Got Y'all. Oh my God. Um, She is now driving for Lyft full time. And you know, she's made a few adjustments since she's a professional cabbie now. I was like, okay, Issa is on. She it. was ready for the sick passenger. She had that water in that plastic bag like you won't be doing this today. <laughs> she was a, a gentle ear for the, the elderly woman whose scrabble partners had all died. <laughs> You know, that white boy who got, like, entirely too touchy feeling. I was like, was like okay, what? So you can be available now, nigga, no. Sure can't. <laughs> <laughs> what? Absolutely not. That was so random. The black lesbians who I loved, that lesbian couple. Which they were was, cute. They were so cute because they were cuddled up, but they were still buckled up. And I was like, wow, <laughs> y'all have a lesbian in the writing room. Because this is something my people do. <laughs> it's like, safety first. I but I still want to, like, touch you. <laughs> anyway, I just felt very seen. And Issa looked all mushy. She was like, y'all are cute. Yes, but of course the best part is that she pulls, pulls up to a fish market and Thug Yoda gets in the car. Can I tell you, when they both looked at each other and were like, oh, I was doing it at Me the too. same time. I said, same time that they did. I should have known when he said I'm going to Brinshaw Mall. <laughs> I should have known. Mr. Brockpot is back. <laughs> I missed him. Oh, that was so great. I love that cameo. That just made my <laughs> heart smile. So uh, Molly's at work. Issa is running all of her errands because she doesn't have a job. Apparently <laughs> got her wax, floss, yeah. uh, some outfits for the music festival they're headed to. Right. She's trying to make sure her friend can leave on time because, you know, Molly's very busy, very right. important lady, you mm-hmm. know. So Issa is pitching in for the car. She even dropped Flavor Flav off at daycare after she played about him being in the trunk. I was like, girl, you can't play with him. For a second there, I was like, okay, what's the truth, I know truth, she though? didn't do she that. Kept going no. <laughs> but it's Issa, though, so I don't know. I was shook low-key. I was like, please don't let this dog right. be in the car. Because she kept it going for too long. She said, you play too much. She's trifling. We come back to this every week. Not the she trunk. is trifling. But I love that whole, you make a much better assistant than my assistant. And then Karen popping up like, bitch, I can hear you. <laughs> I'm across the door. Right. And then she's like, oh, I'm just saying that because her self-esteem low. And then it's like, well, bitch, I can hear you too. <laughs> I just love that because that is how me and my black girlfriends talk right, to each other. Right, the banter. Yes, yeah, so I think, you know, the assistant is warming up to Molly. Molly has probably been shutting the fuck up lately at I work. I think she learned her lesson at that meeting. Yes, and I think, you know, things are probably getting better in some ways and maybe looking worse than others, you know? Yeah, because I'm still wondering the, if the uh, other black women in the office are still side-eyeing her. I'm wondering if right. that's going to come back. Because it didn't, we didn't address that yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. But I know they feel a little way. So I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, Issa's talking about how much she really needs this weekend away with the girls. And, you know, this is pregnant ass Tiffany's last hurrah. So (laughs) she's very excited. She learned the formation choreography and everything. You saw she even walked out (laughs) doing the choreography. I was like, okay, now. (laughs) Molly was like, bitch, I literally don't have time for this. Issa was like. I will force you to watch me. <laughs> was but, that the formation, Corey? No, though? absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't I know what like, she thought she what was. Is Molly was like, bitch, that's not. I was like, I'm going to have to watch that video again because I don't remember that part. But did you guys just say it after Issa left? Molly says, sorry, Karen, you are better. <laughs> <laughs> Elastic. <laughs> so Issa checks her phone on the way out, but Nathan has not texted her back. You know I felt away. I'm like, Nathan. Um, but I 
get it. You know, it's still early. It's still new. Right. As, as a person who does not get attached quickly, I did not feel a way about it. But right. when she started typing out that I haven't heard from you text and then deleted uh, it real quick, I was like, yes, girl, <laughs> we're still moving forward. Like, it's time Gross. for to dial it back. I sis. did appreciate that. And she was like, you know what? I'm not even going to put this energy on. Right. Like, y'all had a great first date. So good. It was like picture fucking perfect. I get it. So expectations are high. Right. But like chill yeah so I was here for I it. was very proud of her like I said my girl is growing and it's showing <laughs> that's what matters Molly is in a meeting with Torian and the partners oh Torian he continues to bulldoze over <laughs> Molly and she's just kind of taking it you know and I feel like the Morehouse men who watch this show are probably like I mean <laughs> fair <laughs> <laughs> Because they are certainly, you know, very, they feel very distinguished about their institution as they should. As, as they, should. they wear it very proudly. And the thing is, like, he brags and takes the spotlight frequently, but he's also apparently very good at what he's doing. I mean, he's clearly backing it up. The fact that everyone right. kind of, like, reveres him in that office. So. Right. I mean, <clears throat> if nothing else, at least the partners. Like, right. They're Which at least, what like, matters. Right. Of course. <laughs> Even if he is, like, annoying as shit, it's like, he's if he was trash at his job, then he would not be able to get away with that. No. But anyway, he's interrupting and talking over Molly like he likes to do. Under the ADA, our client will be entitled to retain her employment and and take leave for rehabilitation. This is good work, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you. And you're citing the 2009 FMLA revisions. Yep. Yeah. I knew from the Lancaster case that it was essential. Good instincts, Torian. And let's get that brief in by the end of the weekend. Would be great to file Monday. Sure. I'll move some things around and get it done. Actually, I have time. I can do it. Sure. Molly's dumbass yeah. decides to jump up and volunteer to do it. I instead. wasn't even mad though. I'm like, she has to seize opportunities where she can find them because it's really how else is she gonna get yeah. to shine in this office? I wasn't mad either. I just felt like you literally like plan this vacation. Right. You just I know. But, but you know how we are. We do that too. And we, we know do that how, all the time. We know how Molly is. Molly right. is still very driven. She wants to be number one. She wants to be in that respected position mm -hmm. that Torian is in. So of course she's gonna volunteer for it anyway. And she thought she was canceling on coach on the whole like she thought she was canceling on the whole weekend trip away with the girls to go party, but... I really thought she was going to go through with it. I did not think that Issa was going to convince her otherwise. And it right. actually worked. I could not believe that either. <laughs> but anyway, Issa's taping up a sign on her door about how, you know, she'll be out for the weekend, call somebody else, do not text me. <laughs> I was like, is she allowed to do that? <laughs> I mean, if she's like off... I mean, you probably shouldn't word it like that, but, you know, <laughs> trifle it. Like I said, <laughs> Trina catches her all the way out oh and asks her about God. the bed bugs. I'm, like, I'm like, Trina, do you have an alert system? I said, damn. Like, she is her door always just waiting. I mean, and it's right there in, like, her line of eyesight. Jesus. So she will always hear you coming home. My God, I was waiting for the sun to come out, too. <laughs> Okay, because we've mama already known. She's gone for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but she convinces her that she is hallucinating the bed bugs and she is actually hallucinating Easter Boom. right now. Right, that ghost <laughs> shit. I was like, oh my God, what is wrong That's with like, you? All right, Trina, so what are you on? That's what I want to know. Right, I would love to know that as well. But you know, I would just, I, Trina's the type of person that I would let her, I would leave her to her devices let and her let her it. mind her business. Yes. <laughs> Kelly and Tiffany are in the car watching Kevin. Oh, oh my, my God. God. This was, was too precious. much. What? <laughs> had me dead I was like wait a minute I said wait a minute <laughs> Somebody looks familiar. Shout out to these cameos that the uh, the team is obviously yes. jumping into the season. That whole so funeral cool. scene was too, too much. <laughs> I could not take it. <laughs> and then when Kelly was like, I know these niggas just did the reboot because they broke, but I'm here for it. <laughs> Damn, how many people does that apply to? Oh, no. <laughs> shut, shut, shut. But anyway. <laughs> It's actually not. It's all good. It's all love. It's all respect. <sighs> anyway, Issa comes out and, you know, the theme is Beyonce or bust, which I totally understand. Like, nothing's standing in the way of me and Beyonce. I thought of you this whole episode. Yes. I mean, I yes. Did. I feel like so many people. <laughs> like, I just, I feel so As strongly we all about did. Her. Right. But Issa sees that the back seat is empty and she asks why they picked her up before Molly. And they're like, so who wants to break it to her? Right. Like, so Molly didn't want to tell you, but. Issa FaceTimes her to try to convince her to come to the festival.
festival anyway. Like they've planned this weekend. Let's just go do it. And, and lies to her time. and says that she will help her. <laughs> and I, I mean, we knew that was a lie. I looked at the TV like, now nah, you know. She was like, I know words, <laughs> bailiff, court. <laughs> The right she sound like silence. Us. Right. No, my God. <laughs> Talking about we could leave early, we could sneak away from these bitches because they whack, they whack. I was like, Molly, don't do it. They ain't gonna help you do shit. <laughs> right, but she agrees anyway because this is like literally begging on Facetime. Right, and so and I get it. They had had this plan. Right, and it's your girls, yeah. and Tiffany is gonna have a baby soon, so. You really wouldn't want to miss out on the it. The last hurrah. And we know Molly, she is going to get her shit done. Right. Period. Above all else. So anyway, they get to the Airbnb and Palm Screens. It's gorgeous, of course. So nice. Oh my goodness. It has a bidet. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> bitches is very fancy. <laughs> Kelly uh, suggests that Issa Airbnb is her new spot so that she can like make extra money. She was like, Okay, so if I do that, so, where, where would I sleep? Do I live? Like, it doesn't make Kelly's sense. Kelly's like, it doesn't. You, you know, know what, what else? else? <laughs> <laughs> I said, damn, that friend who drags you. You know what doesn't make but the sense? Dramatic Four dollars, pause, right? <laughs> you. <laughs> but Issa's like, you know what? I'm not stressing this weekend. I budgeted for all this. Tiffany's like, is someone's left their real job now? That face, though. Right, because if like, you love it, it's no fine. No judgment, judgment right. face. Right. That's exactly, oh my God, that's exactly that's what Tiffany face. does every time. But Issa insists, you know, I'm not worried about nothing. I am just here to relax and kick it with my girls. You Which know? later we see is a complete lie. She admits that she's mortified. True. But, you know, I get it. Right. When you really, fun. you want to have fun. Right. You want to be carefree. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you decided to take some drugs. Lots of <laughs> But anyway, we'll get there. <laughs> so at this point, Tiffany's like, cool, bitch. You know, I know I'm pr- very pregnant, but I came to party. You know, Molly and then will. two minutes later, <laughs> says she needs a nap. I found that amazing. <laughs> well, because Molly's going to be there in two hours, right. which is in time for scissors. So I'm like, two hours, I may also want to lay down. I'm old. But I know if I lay down, I ain't getting back. Two up. hours is good for a nap, though. Now, I don't know. Pregnant. I feel like pregnant, mm-hmm. we all know. You saw was Kelly was like, she ain't getting back up. <laughs> Her whole face and tone of voice. Yo, I was like, what just what happened to her? But I have also <laughs> had an edible and was cool one minute <laughs> and not part of this world. Because you always mess next. up and assume it's not working. <laughs> yes. And you mess up because you're like, I don't feel nothing. You take more and, and you, you know what happens? Up. You end up like Kelly looking you end out the window. twice as high. You end up very ready to not be high anymore. But anyway... <laughs> Kelly's edible has kicked in. <laughs> like, what does she eat? Right, probably nothing. But anyway, um, Issa is like hell bent on them pre-gaming no matter what. And is like, you know what? You bitches have 15 minutes. I'm gonna go get dressed, but you need to get it done. Like, make it happen, whatever. And then Kelly cackles on her way out of the room. <laughs> and then she goes, who's laughing? Shut up. It's That's you. you. <laughs> Why is that me right, every I single like, time? I always want to know what's an ad lib. I was like, I know that was right. an ad lib. I was like, what? This is literally me when I am on uh, edibles. Like. <laughs> and also the reason why I don't do them anymore. <laughs> it's best if you can be alone. Right. At yourself. I'm like talking out loud and interacting with myself. And yeah, sometimes we laugh. <laughs> Sometimes we're talking about something funny. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway. And how did you, I knew at this point, did you realize like, they ain't going nowhere. Absolutely. Nowhere. Y'all had just got in the car and came up here. So you like t- kind of tired from the drive. Right. And, not you know, nowhere. pregnant, not going to get up. Kelly didn't have this edible, so she may or may not move. It was good night for all of them. <laughs> yes. Molly pulls up on a house full of sleeping bitches, even though Issa <laughs> is dressed. I said, damn, she did go get dressed. Aww. Just to fall asleep on the couch. But it's perfect for her because now she gets to go get her work done. Right. Sits and by then, the pool, pulls out the laptop, and gets to work in. Yes, it's like celebrating herself. Shonda who? <laughs> <laughs> what? Team, <laughs> team typing fast over here. Okay. <laughs> but I was proud of her. Like, she actually got her shit done, and mm-hmm. now she can relax and enjoy her weekend. That's how you do it. Yes. So, 
I don't know if you were familiar with how this next scene opened Ab up. Tanisha, shout out to Tanisha. Wow, I'm so proud of you, friend. I didn't <laughs> know if your hood rat was strong enough. Absolutely. That I love that clip. reference because I was like, anyone who knows this yes. is everything. Anybody who knows the clip of Tanisha on Bad Girls Club and that I ain't getting no sleep because of y'all. Y'all not going to get no sleep because of me. <laughs> Issa does that same thing, but like kind of in reverse. She says, I got too much sleep because of y'all. <laughs> and now it's time for y'all to get the fuck up. She's banging the pants together. And I would even... have thrown my entire bedroom, <laughs> the bed, the dresser oh out of the door if somebody came if in. If my friend pot. did that, I would, I would be, I would be like Kelly, like, but she want me to beat your ass. <laughs> And poor Molly only got three hours of sleep. Oh, my God, right? So, oh, no, doing bitch. Work. I'm going to be beyond cranky. And you got a pregnant friend. What are you doing? She didn't give a fuck about nothing, okay? <laughs> she got up early to work on the itinerary for the day. <laughs> but I love that they nailed it even to the very end when they all went in the kitchen and she put the pans down and said, sorry, pans. <laughs> Tanisha did the exact same thing in that clip when she was done. <laughs> she put the pans down and apologized to the pans. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> I could not believe. Uh, <sighs> anyway, it's the little things that catch my heart. And I want to bet money that that uh, Issa wrote that scene. Probably. She had to have. Probably. That's such an Issa moment. We'll see. We'll have to ask. Right. But yes. Issa's like, bitch, we did not come here to sleep all weekend. We nope. did that bullshit last night. We're not doing it no more. Here's the itinerary. We celebrating us. We celebrating Tiffany. And she's Tiffany. like, and the baby. No, not the fucking baby. <laughs> Just you. I was like, Issa, what the fuck? Like, I get the sentiment. Trust Why me. Why you curse the baby out? That's something you say in your head. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. That is one... That is one of the things that you say in your head. Of course, your pregnant friend is obsessed with her baby. She's fucking pregnant. Yeah, and it's her first and one. And it's her first one. Right. They are all like that. And she told her, you're going to become responsible. boring. <laughs> I'm like, that's not, that's not a bad thing. Thing. She oh, should not God. be kicking it every weekend with y'all no more. Um, like, but I love that they're going into this storyline yeah. because I think it's so important seeing when your your friendship and the dynamics start right. changing when people get married, engaged, right. have babies. So I'm like, okay, I love that they're going real. into this. It's very real. It is. So I think if they want to keep Tiffany as a friend and they need to like throw a baby shower or something, something to show her that they are willing to adjust their lives to accommodate this baby because like, girl, you're having a fucking baby. Yeah, like, and, and y'all should be more out. like right. Y'all should be in more like play any mode than cussing the baby oh, out. Oh right. So and she's pregnant, so I understood why Tiffany was in her feelings behind that. I was like, damn, Issa, like, who does that? It's like she is really hyped for me. I was like, right, bitch, are you out of your mind? But anyway, <laughs> she is playing this really fun schedule full of eating, going to shows, drinking, going to most shows. Everybody is starting to get into the idea of turning up. Molly got the thumbs up from the partners. Yeah, that was perfect timing. Yes, so perfect she timing. Really could turn up because they received the and file. she did. Oh, that she did. She took full advantage of what she thought was the end of her work for the weekend. <laughs> and I don't blame her. Shout out to Torian. Yes, and shout out to Kelly for that. Yeah, you work hard, play hard. 80-40 ratio. <laughs> What'd she say? She was like, it's, um, what's that? Uh, uh, she's like, I it, it works. I know, man. <laughs> like, wait, like, girl. But anyway, they really rocking all while Issa is reviewing the schedule and pouring these shots. And um, and the fact that she handed one to, to Tiffany, Tiffany right. and was like, you could drink. It's rosé. But it's I'm like, rose. it's not dark enough to be rosé. <laughs> <laughs> That's not rosé, girl. But Tiffany, I think she did fake drink it. Like, she had her lips right, pressed. Right, just to be down. Right. But of course, she's not going to take no fucking shot. Like, no, just an... Edible, yeah, right. but we'll talk about that. So anyway, <laughs> Issa gets a text right then from Nathan inviting to a party, a black party. And after he, you know, hadn't responded this whole time, right? And now he's like, boop, 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 I'm like, brr. see, when you just chill the fuck out. He is at the festival. You know he had a good ass time, girl. Just relax. So true. So yes, they show up to the pool party, change of plans. Tiffany reminds everybody that they have to leave at four to make sure they get a good spot for Beyonce. And I was like, oh, like she is always like this, but like the mommy she's mode such is kicking a Virgo. in. <laughs> I know she's a Virgo. Oh, don't. This Why is would you, you do? You no. be the Whoa, friend. 
That is the single most disrespectful thing you have you would ever be the said scheduled to me. One to be like, we have to be there. I to love stand itineraries, <laughs> but I don't do them when I do things with niggas because niggas don't believe in schedules on vacation. That's true. They will not. We tried to get know, up for activities. We followed your schedule. They will before. not get up for activities. <laughs> I know better, so I just don't even try. No, you will not put that on me. <laughs> Tiffany is so bougie in a way that I would never want to be. Oh, no, be. no, not like that. I don't want to act like nothing that. like that. You like, would be the one to be like, here's the plan. You're either there or you're not. Okay. But See, the seat's now, for yes, Beyonce there waiting. We go. Facts, facts. Like, <laughs> I just want, if it were me, I would be like, I want you hosts to know. I'll be leaving at four. Whether right. you get in the lift with me, it's Come up to you. Or right. <laughs> However, I'll be leaving. <laughs> I identify very much with Kelly when she says, she better do bugaboo. <laughs> Because you know, Stan's always be wanting her to do the oldest, most random. I'm like, the, like she's not gonna white do people ain't never gonna know it. this. She ain't gonna do bugaboo. But she did do check up on oh, it. She did. Right? See, you was wrong. <laughs> Anyway, Nathan spots Issa and calls over to her. And that's when he Molly was so like, cute. he does. When he was pulling up, I was like, I like this. And I don't know if he's really from Houston or if he just studied the accent, but he really gets it right. Well, I was looking at the hashtag. Shout out to y'all on the insecurity hashtag. And they were saying that he is from Houston. Um, <laughs> I can you tell. You can tell, right? Yes, so I, I hear think it that's a legit voice. accent. Okay. All right. I see y'all right? being authentic H-Town. with the storyline. <laughs> anyway, um, he has friends, Julian and Andrew, with oh, you're him. you're good. I didn't remember their names. Well, Molly like, referred to them as the black, the black one and the Asian one. The Asian one. That's oh, how just... I, my notes literally say that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Fred, you didn't even try. I didn't catch it. I'm bad with names. <laughs> well, I did because Molly introduced herself and Julian says, oh, I'm Percocet? Is that what we do? Right. That's so I'm like, I, did he ever say his name? Well, I'm Percocet. <laughs> I'm like, wait, Molly and Percocet? <laughs> Hey, black people. Fuck about so what are we doing? Kelly's like, that's her real name. I'm drunk. <laughs> okay, bitch. So, yeah, you are drunk. You right. Already. <laughs> oh, we just, she just got walked here. in. The pregame alone. I bet Kelly went back in and had some old liquor after they took that shot. Oh, you shot. know the bottles in the car. She definitely did. Right. Anyway, Nathan and Issa kind of go off by themselves a little bit while the rest of the group is talking. And Issa's like, you know, thanks so much for the invite. I didn't hear from you. And I'm like, damn, bitch, already? I like, knew it was coming. Right out the gate. She's been thinking about it. She want to know. But I hit you up, so what's the problem? Right? I'm in your face now. Like, I'm literally right in front of you. But anyway, Julian <laughs> Julian offers Molly to the group. Which one's Julian again? Julian is the black one. Gotcha, Shout out remember. to you. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, a.k.a. Percocet. I got it. <laughs> Percocet offers Molly to the group. <laughs> And everybody is down. I was a little surprised. I was too. I said, okay, black people, y'all are y'all are partying for real. And he offered Tiffany some Percocet as well. <laughs> and um, she was like, yeah, I I'm don't pregnant. know you. I'm not taking Molly. And he was like, oh, I got an edible. You know, I heard they say, and she's like... I was like, what? Nigga, what? Like, what do you not understand that? Like, I'm a pregnant woman and I, I don't, don't want my baby to be high. Okay? That's just all I'm saying. If I have to spell it out. <laughs> but yeah, I was surprised that everybody was like, cool. You know, Issa's down if Nathan's down. Listen, and- this is the high of a music festival. If I were an episode of Insecure, <laughs> oh Lord. it would be this one. Well, really now? The colors... Oh, not, not okay, the drugs. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I was like, are you sharing your experiences on myself. Molly? Yeah, because I've never, I, I don't mean, do festivals because um, y'all are musty. <laughs> Just being real. That's part of the experience. Hell no. Come no, on, man. Mm-hmm. No, my God created an ordained air conditioning for me. <laughs> he does not want that for my life. And I will not do it. We're going to go one time. We will not. Our last hurrah. I feel like I can promise you this. <laughs> I will not be there. We didn't even go last weekend. I don't stand outdoors <laughs> for any reason for hours at a time. Beyonce was there. I, I said what I said. <laughs> Beyonce was also streaming on YouTube. Oh, yeah, right. So, <laughs> From the comfort of my I don't even remember what we was talking about. I was getting very serious. <laughs> I will not be going to no I really wish there was a camera in here. You was like, I said what I said. <laughs> Anyway, they so they're toast, all druggy. Yeah, they toast with their pills and down them. And Kelly's like, I'm a fuck him. I'm a fuck him. I'm a fuck her. Nah, Janelle Monet made it okay. <laughs> I, I, when I tell you, I yelled. I'm a fuck. 
I said, oh, so my nigga Kelly is going to shine throughout Ooh, the episode. Oh, my then. God. Yeah, everybody is kicking it, having a good time. And Nathan says, you know, he's surprised niggas actually get in the pool because in Texas they don't. And he says, like, oh, so I could have kept my jeans on when we broke into my old house. And he's like, well, I'm glad you didn't, though. Yeah, and she laughs. She does her little flirtatious laugh. Yeah. And then she does it again. And she's like, wait a minute. And then that's when I'm like, oh, she's high as shit. <laughs> I had no idea. I have also never been on Molly before, so I do not know. Oh, what it is like? Oh, okay, so that's a yes. <laughs> it's fine. Cl- I mean, it's clearly fine. Yeah. So I'm. What am I like? But you don't have to talk. Old. I mean, I guess I am. It's fine. <laughs> like, wow. She was just at really me next time. <laughs> She was really happy. He started stroking her arms and she felt that times a hundred on yeah, the Molly. The touch was very touchy. Very touchy. And of course they started making out immediately. I was, I of was course like, okay, they did. how far is this about to go? Uh, Well, right. Because, you know, she's high and maybe she'll just get to the point of I, not giving you know, a shit. Listen, when you're happy, you're happy on it. So Molly and Julian, a.k.a. Percocet, a.k.a. the black one. And I Molly the squared. <laughs> Percocet and Molly squared. Mm-hmm. That Molly squared thing, I said, yeah, bitch, you're high as, as well. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about say it back so I can hear it. No. And then she just immediately collapses in despair. It's like, I'm single and I've been alone for a long time. Right. I was like, hold on. I haven't had sex with anybody since I slept with my married friend. Like, girl, what are you doing? Julian was like, wow, what a train wreck. He dipped. He got out immediately. (laughs) He was smart. He sacrificed poor Andrew. Andrew's sweet, though. He He is like, (laughs) what do you you say? A train wreck? Like, how? Well, because she was like, I've been through a lot. A lot. And he was like, what's a lot? And then she was just like, don't ask. Like life. Like, oh my God, girl, you are faded right now. Yeah. Uh, so we fast forward a little bit. The sun is down now and the group is walking into the festival. Yes. Shout out to the Duckworth track called Miss Shul that's playing. I love it. So okay. I have to shout it out. All right. Yes. Once again, consistently impressed with the music on this show. So good. Just great choices and great placement. But anyway, I felt for Tiffany because like she is saying, you know, according to the app, self-service is really spot and like nobody's listening. Lisa, um, Issa and Nathan are like, oh yeah, cell service is really spotty. And then she says, you know, there's water at all four corners. And then Molly goes, oh my Where God, I'm so water? thirsty. The water? I'm like, damn bitch, am I not talking? Like, And honestly, not having reception when you're in a big group. Oh, that's trash. In an open field with all those people, that's so nerve wracking. Right. Because once you lose sight of each other, it's a wrap. It's I mean, night. and clearly it was a wrap for these niggas as well. Yeah. But Tiffany's still in mommy mode so she was like, you know, we'll stick together and get our spot near the stage and it'll be fine. I was like, yeah, about that. She posed for a picture real quick and, you know, I feel like she was so optimistic because she was the only one who was sober. Right. True. Every- That's true. Everybody else just knew they was going to have fun regardless because they was already fucked up. And she wasn't booed up. up. You know, they was- and she can't drink either. Like, there's, oh, girl, you can't do nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, at this point, they're all breaking apart the weed edible and having it now and they're having a grand time and Tiffany is just they're just eating up all the drugs though I was like so y'all not gonna like nope. save some nope we're having later. the full festival experience My God, we came here to get high with our friends and listen to white music <laughs> We're going to do that. <laughs> but she gets annoyed because everybody is, you know, kind of paired up at this point. Yeah. She's like, well, damn, nigga, I left Derek at home. Why did she bring it? Oh, I forget. They didn't plan this to be coupled up. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Right, no. Right. It was definitely I a girls that. weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, Issa mentions that she's thirsty and everybody obviously can't go. So they'll lose the because they'll lose the spot. So Nathan, of course volunteers to go with her mm-hmm. and they go off mm-hmm. Kelly's hungry and high so nothing will stop her the fact that she just walked off she didn't even say anything she was like anyone. you come with me and he was like yes I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> so then Molly goes into extra dramatic mode and tries to lay her jacket down. She was like, I must save this spot for my girls. Like my life depends on it. I'm like, and then got sleepy. I was like, what is going on? When remember she laid down and the guy was like, what are you doing? You can't sit. Right. She tried to She's sit like, down. I need it now. Yeah. Right. But like, I mean, what a roller coaster of emotions with that Molly tonight. Luckily, he knew that you can't sit down while you own Molly, or else you'll pass, you'll pass out. Because she certainly would have done <laughs> exactly that, and then the night would have gotten even worse. Oh my lord! But he again is being a really nice guy and lets her lean on him, like. Which I was like, really? <laughs> I know it's hot out there, dusty, oh. hot. 
that sweaty? I just don't know that I would do it. I just don't. I can't say that I would do the same. But anyway, <laughs> so Nathan and Issa are walking along the grounds and he says that he ain't never seen so many barefoot people in his life, which I identify with. Heavily. I was like, yeah, his friends, people, my people, they out there with a the homemade deodorant. <laughs> Girl, you know y'all love it. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, Issa, like, cannot stop herself from being like, so why you didn't hit me up? Bruh. Girl, can you please fucking relax? Why is she so pressed? But I mean, she is under the influence, and this is what's been on her mind, so all that shit's just coming out. She so, probably can't even help it. I mean, maybe. You know? Maybe. You know. But this is the second time she's done it. Because she didn't get the answer the first time. See, that was like, girl, but I'm with you right now. Why are you <laughs> tripping? Like, I don't get this. We just... We just had our first date. What is anyone? Anyway. His answer was unexpected. It was. Now, I, I want to know, mm-hmm. like, did you believe it? I did. Okay. I did, too. I totally but niggas, did. so I had the definitely I thought, <laughs> he got a girlfriend. He living with his girlfriend. Oh, no. Don't put that in my head. I like him. I mean, but niggas. You so. just never know. I know, but I did I did believe him. And I understood that, too, because I think I suffer from the same, where you just don't want to seem, like, super proud. Yeah, I definitely don't either. Easy. Right. Yeah. That's why I'm like, Issa but you do seem super pressed. I mean, and he made a good point. He was like, I mean, I didn't receive any texts from you. Right. Because you didn't want to seem pressed. Hello. (laughs) Which is true. Uh, That's why I'm just like, all the more reason for you to not act like this. But you're doing it anyway because you're Issa. Let's blame the drugs. And I think that she is, you know, shifting to a moment where she's wrapping in her head because she's like, what if I like press? Pressed is the best. I ain't never stressed. But... She's she high. Right. And I was like, oh my gosh, she did that out loud. Right. Like, you smile like Chris. Let me just run that. <laughs> He's like, that's all I got. Yeah, like, right. But like, girl, you're high. So, no, you're not actually in your head right now. They're but, perfect. You know, I think she relaxes after that explanation and they had that moment and she's talking about how, you know, this would be so dope in Inglewood. Obviously not as Inglechella. That's so ugly. <laughs> and if they were a, gr- a rap duo, apparently she was saying that they should come back and perform at the festival. Right. You know, because, you know, she, she and Nathan are vibing. <laughs> Damn, friends. <laughs> like, what are you Just talking shoot about? shoot her dreams what down. What are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> I think Coco Cella sounds amazing. <laughs> I might go to that. <laughs> Maybe. But anyway, she turns around and sees the Ferris wheel and she's like, I love them. And of course they're getting on it because Ugh, what is more romantic? Heights. Really? Oh my God. As soon as they got on and I saw his face, he saw how he was yeah. freaking out. I was like, I feel you, brother. Right. The fact that he had a fair heights and got on it anyway. I don't know. I think it just shows that he does like her because trust. I would know. I would have been waving at y'all from the bottom. <laughs> I'm the coat holder. Well, I don't, park. I don't have a fear. I will get on the scariest, <gasps> biggest roller coaster. You I love all no, that shit. I yes. just told you drinks it's so fun i love it so great but you Mm -hmm. know what friends like you are invaluable and listen (laughs) we're vital to the experience yes so but anyway um he does agree to get on it with her even though he's scared and it's like (laughs) it's not what i'm used to seeing with ferris wheels it's like a little private enclosed space like little bench style maybe so more people can go at one time but when it's just the two of you i thought that's more than enough space to fuck oh my god no i was right i would have been shook though low-key i can't well you would have well i mean aside from the heights because that's already insane but i mean i would have been shook because it rocks back and forth i mean yeah but Mm. obviously they they made sure they were in a position where they weren't gonna do too much (laughs) you know safety first right i'm I'm just saying I thought it immediately I mean it was sexy though I can't lie of course so I may have forgot my fear of heights for that moment she tried to coax him through his you know it's not that high but we are <laughs> you know blame it on the drugs and he's like yeah you be knowing shit you're you amazing, amazing. <laughs> I am not trusting him why you say it like that I quit my job and I keep front of everybody like I'm not scared about what's next for me, but I'm terrified. Well, um, I mean, you still gonna do something with music? I think quitting your job was real brave. You gonna come out of this in a better place. I know it. I love that 
but right I love this whole cute. scene because like he encourages her in the way Daniel never did right and telling her this is where she opened up right and admitted this is where that she, she was like yes. freaking out about the fact that she quit and kind of putting up a good front for her friends and he was just so supportive and sweet and told right. her that she's gonna be fine and you saw her face she just kind of like, melted right. like this is awesome having your support Right. She really did relax. And he called her brave and said he knew she was going to come out of this in a better place. And I'm like, damn, that's all girls be asking I for. No, know. Like, the so... bar is on the ground. <laughs> and these niggas still just cannot. <laughs> and then she kisses him. Well, yeah, because right then, of course, the wheel stops. Oh, I, right, right, right. It was so funny when the operator was like, I'm not high. Um, <laughs> Bitch, I think you are. I was like, okay, wait, <laughs> hold on now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, fingers crossed, it's just sweet. Please, like, still. even that, though. Right, like, you have to get a backup battery, girl, <laughs> what? So Nathan says, you know, this is a good view. But by then, Issa is more than ready. And she literally straddles that nigga. She was ready for a different view. She was. And she made the mistake of saying, I want you so bad right now. He said, show me. Oh, God. Come on, writing team. Slid the panties right to the side. Ain't got the time to take draws off. Now, I have a question about these underwear. Does she have two pairs? What do you mean? Because... There was something lacy at the top uh-huh. that he slid to the side, right. and then I saw a thong underneath. I thought the lacy thing was the thong. Maybe like, I need to rewatch. I was like, wait, she got two pairs of panties? Like, maybe there's just a lace overlay over the thong. Oh, That's okay. Kind of, friends, like, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> so the fact that you. I'm like, underwear? What's that? If she knew she was going with Nathan when she left the house, she put them drawers on on you purpose. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you win. I just hate to be that real about it. But anyway, <laughs> back on do. the field, Kelly is looking for her other waffle. She forgot she ate it before they left the tent. I said, the way he told her, though, he was like, bruh. <laughs> like you just ate it <laughs> six minutes gone. ago. <laughs> I said, so the whole fucking crew oh. is wasted. They are having a blast at this festival. Yes, but of course, they've been gone for so long that there are white people in their spot. Oh, my God, at this point. This scene, I was so conflicted because blacks, (laughs) you know, I'm automatically aligned. I'm on your team. But. However, y'all were just so wrong in this one specific but scenario. But they were so high, so I keep giving them. Right. And I mean, it's not even them. This is Kelly's fault. She literally yanked. This is where being the turn up, talking loud friend goes to. She keeping it real goes <laughs> wrong. Keeping it real goes wrong. I was literally about to say the same thing. Yes, because they're like the white people are being rational about this. Sorry, girl. They are like, girl, you can't save a spot. They're it's a festival. fucking field. It's a field. <laughs> Like and when the white girl timers. says that, right, Kelly was like, and I bet that's where you'd like to keep us, you whole milk drinking ass bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> see, this is not an appropriate response. And they yanked <laughs> the everlasting life right. out of her. I said, yo, you may have actually damaged that girl's spine. Jesus Christ. Like, she really snatched her down and poor Tiffany is like, Kelly, no! she could tell but I love that she didn't start because she couldn't jump in she's just Clearly. pouring water right. on people <laughs> she's, like, she's just screaming like no. Issa was in that lift when the fight happened <laughs> 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 Tiffany is screaming and trying to pour water on niggas like that's gonna make them pour stop water oh my god everybody gets in Molly gets pulled into Molly it by jumps Tifa in, the even jumps in. Right. oh my god even Andrew and Julian end up fighting like we just met these bitches how <laughs> A brawl at at the festival. Yes. It is literally a brawl. And (laughs) Kelly is still going off talking about she reclaiming her time and her space. (laughs) I came here to listen to white music. I bet you voted for Jill Stein. (laughs) (laughs) Again, I feel like these are ad-libs, but, you know, she's just so hilarious either way. Tiffany is, you know, incredibly distraught. Issa and Nathan are still up on the Ferris wheel, though, mm-hmm. while all this mm-hmm. is going on. Coming down, though. Coming down. <laughs> you know, very good timing with this battery situation, mm-hmm. I have to say. Just worked out really well for you guys. Sure did. But anyway, uh, Nathan is asking, you know, does this count as the Mile High Club? And Issa's 
in, in batter. Oh, like, God. Oh, man. Must have been. I was blushing this whole episode. Must have been good. Oh, God. Because, you know, his mouth was just right on her titty. I don't know how <gasps> they shoot that. I always wonder that. I'm like, yo, this I wouldn't looks be able to so look at you. real. It is real. There's no <laughs> way he's not sucking on that titty. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. That can't be. Of course. It has to be. Be real. The but, only parts that obviously aren't happening are when, like, Daniel, you know, going down on her. I don't think, because they ain't a porn. But, but no, that boy, part, he's not licking Issa's real nipple. No oh, way. So what do you think he's I doing? I don't know. This he was status television magic. Issa, tweet us and tell us, <laughs> did he suck in your titty or not? <laughs> Oh, wow, Hashtag friend. insecurity so we where, can all see. Where is the cooth, friend? <laughs> My God. Anyway, since they're so high up in the air, they actually have service. Mm. And Tiffany calls, you know panicked of course oh my god and Issa feels so bad this kicks off her guilt trip which I think you know if she wasn't so high she would not have felt so guilty I was gonna ask that what did she what did she do wrong I think she was blaming herself because well well, because when things go wrong first of all it usually is her fault but (laughs) also Joanne got her (laughs) programmed (laughs) damn yo I think that's part of it but also she was high so her feelings of feeling inadequate are multiplied and even more present right now right I think it was I think it was those things right and it was just because she she kept saying she messed up the she changed the schedule and I'm like what part did she change I mean like right we changed the schedule to go to the party and then at the party we all took Molly but those are grown women and they chose to do that so that is not on you right you're they could have just not they could have stuck to we Mm -hmm. which just don't you just don't act like this it's not as fun (laughs) well you know what friend I will sacrifice my good time I guess because there's just some things I won't do and if white people are mixing it up in a <laughs> in a mobile laboratory no you didn't i'm just not likely <laughs> to try it. so anyway they are at security getting kicked out and kelly is asking why the whites get to stay oh my god <laughs> oh my god but low key i mean even though she did start it but security don't know that i mean and they, they don't, don't really give it. i mean and honestly girl they should the whites get to stay because they didn't do this you did this but they don't know that well, security somebody somebody snitched. Well, hmm, I don't know. Is yeah. it racism or did, did they know the full story? How did security know? I don't know. They when, don't know who started. Didn't they, but I feel like security had to come and escort them out of the the fucking park. Like. And only escorted the black folks out. Okay. You know what, friend? I'm trying to help Kelly out here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you have it because <laughs> I just assumed, well, bitch, you started the whole day. I mean, she so did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's but she's ass. extra salty because the crowd starts chanting Beyonce's oh, name. The talk about badass timing. <laughs> How do you she's get like, kicked out at the headliner? Like, girl, y'all waited Pissed. through all that mustiness <laughs> and then got kicked out right before Beyonce and came out. And them tickets are expensive. Right. And like, I'm sure the rules say that if you act an ass, we will put you out and there are no refunds. So you're fine. So I think she realized how desperate the situation and was. She, she got decided desperate. to make a run for it. <laughs> and got her ass tased, okay? Talking about, we said Beyonce or bust, but she couldn't even mm-hmm. get it out. <laughs> we'll go with bust. <laughs> Poor Tiffany, her blood pressure's through the roof at this yeah, point. Yeah, but when she rolled over and had her jeans were wet, pissed on herself. I was like, "You guys are taking this too far." <laughs> I pissed on myself. Don't look at me. Remember me different. <laughs> that was a fucking amazing line. Again, some high shit. <laughs> and she had an edible to start the day. She's been drinking. She had that Molly, and she had some more edibles. Jeez. So she's very high right now my goodness oh you know the process of them getting kicked out of this park was just entirely too much everybody has service now so molly is seeing that the partners want some of these last minute notes done before oh the yeah she in. hadn't had reception to catch it in time so guess who stepped in who torian oh i was like girl what none no, of them bitches helped her no 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 
<laughs> you know Tori yes, is going to miss an opportunity. Of course, okay. right. So she was like, nah, I got to get this done because Tori, and and of course she's high, so her insecurities are crazy. Mm-hmm. She's talking about, anybody got a laptop, bitch? I co- I- We're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> No, nobody has a laptop. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> yes, you actually are out of your actually mind. Actually, in that moment, yes. <laughs> All of y'all are. Uh, Tiffany admits that she took a bite of the weed brownie. I was a little anxious, but I'm like, okay, let's see how this plays out. I honestly think a little bit of weed is fine for pregnant mothers, especially as far yeah, along as she is. is. So strong, though. That's a well, lot. Well, I mean, of it. she That's took a, a lot of bit of weed. She took a bite of an edible. I feel like she's not even... I would have had Listen, to... Listen, I've been in the cosmos off of a corner of a okay. brownie. Okay, all right, So friend. I don't... It depends on who makes it. That's true. And you she know? does not... I'm assuming that if she ate that one everybody else was eating off of, that she doesn't. But I don't think it's that strong just because homemade stuff don't tend to be that strong. Mm. Now, if they got it in the shop... Look at us breaking this down. <laughs> this is a damn shame. <laughs> I assumed that she just had a little bit to take the edge off because she had to deal with all them high motherfuckers. Which and you know, like I would she says later, she well. pushed herself because she still wanted to try to fit in with Right, she wanted to kick mm-hmm. it, you know? So she had a little bit of weed, which I think the baby will be fine. But of course, she was in the closet crying about it anyway. <laughs> this was a mess. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Right. Issa and Nathan get to the house. And, oh, and he's walking her home. Oh, you know, Fran is just falling in love. I am. Girl, I wasn't even thinking like that. I was. <laughs> of course you were. I always think like that for the both of us. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, because I literally never do. He gave her a kiss and he's like, I hope, you know, everything with you and your friends is good. Right. She was so, so she stressed was, like, out. Pressed. She's like not even paying attention to him at this point. She's like, all right, well, I got to get inside. Right. And, you know, he saw that and gave her a kiss and left her alone to go handle her shit mm-hmm. again she's like so upset right and I feel like nobody else is really matching that energy but anyway Kelly is actually pissed but she's pissed at everything like, I mean she just she's got pissed taste. literally it's gotta hurt right she's literally <laughs> pissy literally right now pissed. right <laughs> Molly is on her laptop typing ferociously. Just nonsense. Oh my God. <laughs> it was literally team typing fast. She was like, clack, 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 clack. <laughs> She looks up at Issa like, I don't want to be high no more. Issa's a good friend though, because she took the laptop to read what she was typing. She was like, I don't think these are words. So I'm going to close this before you play yourself. She did that scream again that she has done like three times so far this season. She's like, ah! Like, I can't handle what you're doing right now. Oh, Molly. Yes, uh, she knew that that shit was wrong. And now is not the time for Molly to be fucking up at the office. And you know, she don't want to be high no more. We have all felt that. Yes. We have all been high for too long. That is why I don't get high anymore. (laughs) When you just like, I, Lord, I would honestly give anything to feel normal again. I just again. want this to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tiffany is hiding in the closet talking to Derek about her weed, baby. Oh, do you know how freaked out he must have been? Right? Your wife that's pregnant right. is away in the desert calls calling you, you crying, crying in the middle of the night. Balls. <laughs> I would have killed them all. I would have killed them all. He was like, uh, hey, Derek, hey. everything's fine, you know, da, 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 And da, da. hangs up. Right. And then, you know, this just makes her cry more because, bitch, why did you hang up on my, my husband? husband? And Issa's like, everybody's mad. We need to talk. And, you know, Tiffany knows that's true. Right. She starts crying even harder. <laughs> and I'm like, it's a sad situation when Issa has to be the voice of reason and get everybody together. She killed me, though. And she was like, this closet is so organized. <laughs> You know, <laughs> even in her lowest moments, uh, Tiffany is bougie still lie. bougie as hell. She is funny. She was looking around getting inspiration <laughs> in the middle of her grief. <laughs> Kelly's like, well, bitch, now you want to talk? <laughs> when you left me alone to battle the whites on the field? <laughs> I'm like, girl, this is not Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to battle no whites. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Tiffany's talking about Beyonce is a better mother than me. I'm like, oh, Beyonce is a better mother than everybody. <laughs> so it's just like, all right, bitch, you get out the closet. Molly, stop breathing so hard. <laughs> Kelly, stop looking at me like you want to kill me. This is a mess. <laughs> it's residual tase rage. <laughs> 
That's so funny because in the morning you're not going to remember that this happened. And but. she didn't. She, made me laugh. <laughs> she was like, girl, I woke up feeling like I got tased. Molly is still talking about that jacket. Like, girl, that jacket long gone. I t- and so Issa's like, bitch, we all just need to go to bed, which is true. Yes. When everybody is that high, y'all need to just drink some water and lay the fuck down. Take a shower, drink some water, and try again If tomorrow. you can, take oh, a shower. Oh, true. <laughs> well, Kelly should. <laughs> oh, my God. The fact Kelly's she smelled def- like piss in the morning was a lot. That, you know what? <laughs> Let me just tell you something. <laughs> when you go to prepare yourself for a shower after you have pissed on yourself, that has to be a specific level of shame. <laughs> Especially if you were so high that you just went to sleep when you got home. Oh, my God. You were not even sober enough to recognize that you were pissy and to, like, do something about it immediately. My God. That just lets you know how out of it. Levels, man. Right. And so the next morning, Tiffany wakes up first. She's looking for water. And the other three girls kind of slowly come to life. And... Molly is like, why am I in a zebra? Like, she's literally wrapped up in a rug. And they all just look at each other and laugh because they know yesterday was some bullshit. A hot ass mess. But they made it. Honestly, I I saw that coming because me and my friends have done the exact same thing. But the thing is, that's fun. It is fun. As long as nobody is like her. Maybe not a moment, but after when you have a story to laugh at. When everybody is at home later that night and everybody's still fucked up and start getting in their feelings, that's when it's trash. True. Oh, let me tell. Uh, oh, but the, the last time. We have oh, you were there. <laughs> yes. We have the references. last time I got stuck with high my niggas at 3 a.m. God. They kept me up till the sun came up, okay? Remember I had my blanket and my incense. Like, I, I'm going to try to shift the, the fact energy. That, see, everybody <laughs> else went to bed. That's what I should have done because I had to get up. So, you know, be <laughs> glad when you have an Issa around in the group to just be like, okay, bitches, like, let's all just go to sleep. Right. And then they go to the 7 Eleven because they have to yes. get Tiffany some water yep. for her and the baby. Still can't find any water. I mean, yeah, for her and the baby. She but said like, it was vodka. We all fridge. need water. I, mean, I was yeah. surprised she didn't just drink it out the tap. If I'm that thirsty, I'll just drink it out the tap. Yeah, maybe. Maybe she's not that thirsty yet. But after, I mean, even I mean, a little it, bit of weed. Think of who we're talking about. You just think Tiffany's going to drink tap water? Because Issa went, Issa went inside. She knew she was looking for alkaline, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she knew she was not looking for no regular ass dollar bottle of water. <laughs> she knew. Okay? We're not know. doing that. Right. This is the bougie, bougie bitch, okay? Right. I love that Molly was missing her track. <laughs> the way she said it. <laughs> I'm missing a trick. Kelly was like, I tried to take it out and it got stuck in my ring. (laughs) And then Kelly being like, why do I smell like piss? That's my My God. God. Girl, Molly looked at her like, how much of the truth do I give you right now? (laughs) But yeah, Issa and Tiffany pull up to the store and she is still like sad. It's very obvious that Tiffany's in a mood here. Yeah. And you know, at this point before she obviously like went into her reasoning, I wasn't sure how to read it. Cause I was like, is she feeling that the friend group is different in the sense of like, I can't fuck with y'all. You know what I mean? Like this mm-hmm. is a lot. Like I'm pregnant and right. married. Y'all have me out here. One of y'all getting tased, the other one, you know, and it's, yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot for the state that her body's in. But it ended up not being that at all. She really just felt like left out. And I think she's worried that she's not going to be able to hang with them the way that things were, which they are going to change. Like last night and ever since I got pregnant, I just feel so left out. It's like I really pushed myself to party with y'all. Girl, we just wanted one last hurrah before the baby came. It's just... Everything's different now. Like, we're different now. We don't have to be... Shit changes all the time. It's... And we'll always be friends. Things that they have to they change have for to her. Change. Right? She's pregnant. She's a literally baby pregnant changes. right now. And I totally get that. Because my best friend got pregnant the first time. <laughs> And you know when you yes. and your best friend rode tough for I like do. years and then suddenly they're a mom and a wife and have their job and it's like 
There's no time for y'all. You have like a family and a life that I don't have. Like you're now at the bottom of her priority list. And sometimes that's hard when you guys are used to being each other's priorities. Mm -hmm. So I get it. I I love that they're exploring this. I do too. Because the thing is, Tiffany kind of has a point. Her friends have not really, like I said earlier, they haven't jumped into the Annie role like I would have expected them to. Like I've had lots of friends become pregnant and it's like... Bitch, I cannot wait to get on your nerves with this baby. Oh, my God. I'm going to spoil your kid. You're going to be so mad at me. Like, I mean, it, it almost feels like they think it's a burden. At least Issa's yeah. talking about fuck the baby. Right. <laughs> not the, we're not celebrating the fucking baby. Like, bitch, what is wrong with you? And even calling this the last hurrah. It's like, yeah. what does that mean? Because you're going to be boring after you give birth. Like, and That's they already have a group chat without her. It's not fine. That's she's, what my my friends that are pregnant hurt. always say. You have to find other mommy friends. You have friends. to have. I'm sure you do. They're the only ones that will understand you. Because, like, I can only relate so far. Right. And if you're like, girl, I just need to get away from this baby for 30 minutes, I got you. Like, right? Just call yes, me. Yes, exactly. I got you. But, like, as you need mothers to commiserate with. You need people who share that experience. And I just don't have it. When no. I go home, it ain't nobody there but me. Right. <laughs> right. So it's I love this. So I'm glad right. at these layers. I think it's so yes. relevant. I love that they're talking about it. So, you know, Issa tells her, you know, shit doesn't have to be like so different. It'll change, but we'll always be friends. And oh, Tiffany's we'll like, see. me, you, you know. You just cursed my baby out yesterday, but <laughs> right. all right. I would love to see y'all come together and like throw her shower and start acting like you know this baby is a welcome addition right. to your group of friends but you know if the, also though if this is somebody you don't really like then this is a perfect way to phase out the friendship uh, uh, I mean I don't know if that's how she really feels I mean she's not in the group chat remember? I mean like so, having a group chat and deliberately excluding one person one like person that's, out of the whole crew right I'm just saying I mean I'm just saying who knows maybe this is, this is the last time we yeah. see Tiffany Ma- well, uh, who, <laughs> no that can't be she gonna be in the bin with Daniel no something has to happen after the baby's born I bet the baby will be born in the last episode oh oh yeah oh Oh, look at, I wish I could That's see Fran right That's a cute prediction. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're so close to being done with this. Oh. Uh, Issa goes inside. Bram, 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 bram. Oh, man. And this is where shit. Celebratory. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> she gets that text message talking about, you know, hope you and your friends are good. Are you, are you as hungover as I am? And she sends back the little sick hungover face. Hungover emoji. Right. Like, yeah, nigga, definitely are. But she can't find Tiffany's bougie water. She goes up to the front and lo and behold it's Chad Chad my fave I was so happy to see him and he is you know sipping like he does his usual his juices last time and and let me just add that as soon as I saw him (laughs) as soon as I saw him I prayed he was alone I knew (laughs) I knew that he was not alone I prayed he was. I was already looking through the aisles. I was like, come on, camera, pan, pan to the left. (laughs) But when he said, East motherfucking side, Ah. I said, oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. And then the music cuts in and fine ass Lawrence appears. That's me clapping in case y'all wondering. What is definitely not me. (laughs) And Chad is hitting that Slurpee. Woo, woo. And we go to black. God damn it. There. There he is. (laughs) (laughs) So how are we feeling about the reappearance of I mean, I'm feeling great. I don't know about you. Uh, I just really hope she is not going to let this derail her. What do you mean? Oh, my God, friend. Please don't tell me you have hard eyes over this situation. Listen. Come on. Let's hear your flowery bullshit. (laughs) Let's just hear it. Listen. Well, you know what? Actually, let me not, because it hasn't been that long. Hasn't it only been a couple weeks since they broke up? Uh, maybe a few months. Oh, really? I don't all, know. I mean, I'm lost on the timeline. Well, not even since they broke up, but since they had that final meeting in the apartment, the apartment. and it was like, it's over. I think it's only been a few months since that. I mean, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to be too premature, but I will say that... It might be cute for them to just talk. Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> this is so bad. You can tell I know I'm bullshitting because 
<laughs> my body won't even let me get the words out. I'm like, it, it might be no. cute. <laughs> Issa's finally moving forward in her personal You're progression. absolutely She's right. She's finally doing better. Do not let old dick derail you. I said new dick and no mistakes. I know. And Nathan is bomb, so. As soon as I saw Lawrence, I said, no, we have a new nigga to fuck up with. Oh, God. Only thing I will say is I don't want him to create a rift between her and Nathan in any way. That would piss me off. I just, I want them to run into each other at the 7-Eleven, say it. what's up, and never see one another again. But I just really doubt it. I really doubt it. I mean, it wouldn't it. be insecure. Oh, <laughs> uh, Issa, I really want to believe that you will resist this nigga. Come on, come on. Give <laughs> us a good last, what, next three episodes? No, Nathan is fun and he has a, a job and he ain't trying to live with her or nothing. He ain't, like, it's a new thing. I agree. We don't need to go back. But for the sake of the show. <laughs> For the sake of the fun, I love the idea that she is ruining people's apartments as the manager of this complex. Right. Messing up with Lauren. I mean, it, we can go in so many directions. We'll see. I am holding out hope that she will not do this. No, but. I like, at the end of the day, Nathan <laughs> is my number one choice. Yes. Any other predictions? I am looking forward to seeing Molly at work when the black ladies confront her again. I'm so curious to see where this is going to go. I cannot wait to see that. And now I'm excited for any other random guest appearances like the Thug Yoga appearance made I me so know. happy. I know, this was like a reunion episode. It was, it felt so good and uh, even at the very end when he returned, mm-hmm. it still felt mm-hmm. say it. He was familiar. Say his You name. know, and he's fine. He's fine. Yes, yeah, that Ellis was pleasant. He's fine, so. um, I am waiting to see what's going to happen with Issa's employment situation. Yeah, because she's going to have to do something else full time. Something. I'm I think she's going to call the music. Crew. Yeah, I'm thinking B Crew might get a call. I'm so. hoping. I'm hoping that it all, you know, obviously I'm being playful with my predictions. But I. But at the end of the day, because no, these people aren't it. real. Right. So oh, well, like, yeah, it's facts. hard to like get right, this is fake. too deep into it. But right. I, it would be nice and hopeful for her to like move forward with Nathan, have this new job at the Beats Crew and just everything to just be super sweet. But then it wouldn't be a show. Right. True. It has people to don't like happiness. <laughs> it's, it's Issa and Molly. They're going to mess up. Oh, it's God. about growing up. So that will wrap up this week's episode. Make sure you follow the conversation on social media. You using hashtag insecurity and of course check out the show every Sunday evening yes. only on HBO thank you guys for listening we'll be tuning into what yes. you guys have to say so make sure you Can't use the insecurity hashtag wait. and as always thank you for listening alright see y'all next week bring, 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 bring. <laughs> you in that damn <laughs> Shout out to the cast and crew of Insecure. We just heard that y'all are renewed for season four. Yay! Br- br- yeah. Br- br- yeah. Congratulations! That bitch is doing big things. <laughs> we can't wait. That means more, more stuff. Go shit. ahead. Go ahead, Crystal. More shit. <laughs> more dicks. I knew you were more opportunities to fuck up. <laughs> Congrats. I'm so curious what season four is going to bring because let me tell you, season three was great. Child, a mess. All right. Congrats, Issa. Yay. Insecurity is a loudspeaker studio production. Burr, Our, burr, burr, burr. <laughs> Our producer is Matt Raz. Our editor is Ty Worley. Join in the conversation on social media using the hashtag insecurity. And don't forget to follow at LSN Podcasts. 